Let's watch each movement separately. Master the elbow position and the tight side closing thoroughly through this form. Nukite, from Morote Uke and Oitsuki, coming out of the wide rotational full turn, move with the intention of pushing your hips forward. In this elbow defense, it's necessary to defend employing the hip turn, fixing your bust, hips, and both arms like a rock, instead of moving your arms separately. It's important to intend to defend yourself with your hip rather than with your elbow. After left Oitsuki, draw your right back foot, take a step to the right, and rest your weight on your right foot. Turn your body to the left with a wide rotational movement, and you are in Kibatachi stance. The basic waza of this kata is used for the juta action. Let's watch the entire course of action again. Instructor Nakayama will explain the points of action. This is the changing defense of the middle and lower stances. Whether in middle or lower stance defense, maintain the same elbow position. The elbow should be the width of your fist away from your side. This is an important principle. Don't change your elbow position, even when you bend or open your arms or when you stand in heisoku dachi or in anti-flexion.
When you are forced to take a reverse stance, it's of no use trying to loosen yourself from the opponent's grasp. On the contrary, it's important to hold on to the opponent. In this defense, it's of no effect to move your arms. So defend yourself by turning your hip and take the offensive by turning your elbow and a vertical forearm. It's of no effect to attack from the side. This is a form of Tai Sabake and is called Yori Ashi. When you move to the right, push your body out with the left leg, and when you move to the left, push out with the right leg. The important point is absolutely do not change the form below your waist. 